Hey everyone, it's been a while since I created my last video and today I'm bringing something that I think you're really going to enjoy. In this tutorial, we're going to build a uh, voice assistant clone of ChatGPT, which I'm naming it as Epic AI. This assistant will talk and interact like a real human, closely replicating the GPT voice model. And all this process will be done within two minutes. But before that, I recently discovered a tool called Dropstone, which is an AI solution that's designed to support developers rather than to replace them. At first, I was unsure about how it would work or what it could really do, but I decided to give it a try. Honestly, it ended up being a real surprise. As someone who works on a lot of Nexus projects, one of the biggest pain points has always been dealing with errors. It's a frustrating, time-consuming task that can really slow down the progress. When I came across Dropstone, it completely changed how I approached this issue. The tool automates the process of fixing errors, which means I no longer have to spend hours going back and forth trying to find and resolve bugs. Instead, the process has been much simpler and quicker, freeing up more time for actual development. I tried the premium version of Dropstone and it really worked as promised. So I just want to share my experience with Dropstone because I think it could really help others in the same way it did to me. I'm also supporting a company behind it as it's made my job easier. Just to clarify, this is not a sponsored video. I simply wanted to share my experience in case uh, it's useful for anyone else. If you find their work helpful, I recommend uh, visiting their product and page, giving them an upvote and leaving a feedback. It's a small way to show support for a tool that's been useful to me and could make a big difference for others. All right, let's get into our project. So we're going to be building this project within two minutes and uh, let's get started. Let's kick things off with a brief demo to show you what we'll be building. Now, what sets this apart is that we're going to be using a Humei's API to create this agent. But before we dive into code, let's understand what's happening behind the scenes of uh, Humei. Humei's core technology revolves around understanding the emotions behind the voice we speak. The system processes voice samples and uh, analyzes key elements like tonality and emotional expression. It then responds to the voice based on their insights, making interaction feel more human-like. This is essentially what we are going to be replicating in our project. Now, let's get started with the technical sides of the things. We'll be building an XJS app, and the first thing we need to do is to create an access token for Humei. To do that, you'll need an API key and a secret key. Once you have this, we'll move forward with creating the core components of our application. The primary components will be chat component where we'll be using the voice provider. This will act as a communicator that interacts with the user. I've also added a simple scrolling feature to automatically scroll when a new message arrives. Then we'll define the messages to display the chat history along with the controls to toggle the chat on and off and to end the session. The start call feature will be the initial screen that users see. I'll also be animating the entire experience using frame of motion, making sure that the UI is smooth and uh, visually engaging. Once you have built out these components and uh, integrated everything, you'll be ready to test the app. So fire up the project and see the magic happens. Hey there. Not much on my end. How's your day going so far? I'm sorry to hear that. Right. What's been going on? It's made it a rough day. I hear you. Sounds like you're dealing with a lot right now. What kind of problems are you facing? I sometimes talking it through can help clear things up a bit. 